Did you catch the latest news on Blackstone? Yeah, the real estate giant that's pretty much everywhere you look. They've hit a bit of a snag, and it's not just a small bump in the road. We're talking about a 41% drop in earnings here. Crazy, right? Now, before you jump to conclusions, there's a lot more to this story than just numbers going down. It's about what's happening in the market, why sales are slowing, and what this means for people like us who are keeping an eye on real estate trends. I know, it sounds like a lot, but trust me, you'll want to stick around for this. We're going to break it all down, make it super easy to understand, and maybe even figure out what moves to make next. So, if you're curious about what happened to Blackstone, you're in the right spot. Keep watching, because we're diving into all the juicy details. Okay, so what's been happening with Blackstone? And I'll keep it as real and straightforward as possible. With Blackstone's recent financial update, it's clear the company has hit a rough patch, and the details are pretty telling. In the fourth quarter, Blackstone reported a 41% fall in earnings. Now, why did this happen? A big part of the story is the slump in asset sales. It seems like the market's not as hungry for big real estate deals as it used to be, and that's put a dent in Blackstone's income. So, you might be wondering, what's the deal? Let's simplify it. Selling big properties and assets isn't as booming as before. It seems like people aren't as eager to snap up those large, glamorous real estate deals, hitting Blackstone's profits hard. We're seeing their real estate income dive down to $3.4 billion in 2023. That's half of their previous earnings, a massive drop. And yeah, it's definitely caught a lot of attention. But here's where it gets a bit interesting. Despite these tough times, the team at Blackstone aren't just sitting around feeling sorry for themselves. They've been talking about this idea of a virtuous cycle, and basically, their way of saying they see a light at the end of the tunnel. They believe that even though things are rough right now, there's room for growth and recovery down the line. It's a hopeful outlook in what seems like a pretty gloomy scenario. Now, let's break down why this whole Blackstone situation should matter to all of us. Think of Blackstone as this huge player in the real estate game. If they're having a tough time, it's like a big warning sign for the rest of the market. It's like when they catch a cold, everybody else starts sneezing. What's going on with them usually gives us a heads up on where things are heading. And right now, it's looking like we're in for some changes. Not the kind we're all excited about, but it's not all bad news. It's actually teaching us a pretty important lesson about rolling with the punches and figuring out how to get through tough spots. And it's not just me talking about this. A lot of experts out there are pointing out that what's happening with Blackstone isn't just a random blip. It's connected to bigger things going on in the economy, like interest rates climbing and investors changing their minds about where to invest their cash. It all sounds pretty complex, but the bottom line that everyone's getting at is this is a major alert for anyone in real estate. Things are shifting, and the usual strategies might not be as effective anymore. Diving straight in, Blackstone's latest money report was a huge deal. Not just for them, but for everyone in the game. This wasn't about just a few rough months. It's about a bunch of big problems and market stuff that really knocked them down. And it's not just about the numbers going down. There's a whole story behind why things went south. Think of the market as being super wild recently. Kind of like a roller coaster that's all over the place. The cost to borrow money, or interest rates, has been climbing higher. For a big company like Blackstone that needs to borrow loads of money to make purchases, this is a huge deal. When these rates go up, it's like suddenly having to pay more each month for your car or house loan. Now, about the market being all over the place, it's been really shaky. Think of it like this. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But lately the downs have been pretty wild. This scares off people who want to invest their money because they don't know what's going to happen next. If they're scared, they're not going to spend big bucks on new projects. For Blackstone, this means it's been harder to sell their stuff or find cool new things to invest in. Another point to consider is the strategic bets Blackstone made. Every investment is a bit of a gamble, but usually, these guys are pretty good at predicting the market. However, no one's perfect, and some of their major investments haven't performed as expected. Without getting into the weeds of each deal, it's enough to say that not every shot they took was a score. And in the investment world, a few missed shots can mean a lot of missed revenue. Economic conditions play a huge role too. Basically, the world's money situation has been pretty shaky lately. Stuff like arguments between countries over trade, politics being all over the place, and other big events have made the markets jittery. All these big problems mess with how confident people feel about spending their money and what they choose to spend it on. This really hits the real estate market hard. 
When things aren't looking too stable, folks and companies aren't rushing to put their cash into new places or buildings, which means fewer people are buying or investing in property, slowing everything down in the property world. Lastly, Blackstone's own portfolio value took a hit. The value of real estate can fluctuate based on a ton of factors, from changes in the local economy to shifts in demand and supply dynamics. When the portfolio's value drops, it means the assets Blackstone owns are worth less on paper, which directly affects their bottom line. It's like if you bought a bunch of stocks and then the market dips, your investment's worth suddenly shrinks. After seeing all the highs and lows Blackstone has been dealing with, you might be asking yourself, what's next? The future seems to be a mixed bag of hurdles and chances, especially when it comes to real estate. Given the roller coaster of market changes and economic twists we've seen, it's safe to say things are about to get even more interesting. For a company like Blackstone, the rules of the game are evolving. It's no longer just about grabbing every property in sight. Looking ahead, it's all about making smart moves, seriously smart moves on where and how to put your money. With technology advancing by the day, there's huge potential to mix things up, from the way we manage buildings to pushing them towards being more eco-friendly. And honestly, being green is no longer just a bonus. It's becoming essential. Everyone's looking for places to live and work that are kind to our planet. And the push for sustainability is getting stronger everywhere. If you're keeping an eye on the market and wondering when to make your move, the main thing is to stay sharp. Prices could change, opening up new opportunities, but it's all about the right timing and not just going with the flow. Understanding the risks, doing your research, and really knowing what you're diving into is key. Remember, real estate is a worldwide affair. What happens in one corner of the globe can send waves across the entire market. So, paying attention to global trends, not just local ones, is becoming more crucial than ever. And there you have it, the update on Blackstone's Q4 situation wrapped up. But remember, the real estate scene never fails to throw us curveballs, and we'll be right here to dive into whatever comes next. If you appreciated this analysis, go ahead and smash that like button, and make sure to subscribe for all the latest insights and news. Who can say what we'll dig into in the future?